Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the battery tests. So what we were trying to do was test the Jiffy battery cells with the powered uh, PCB or the uh, PCM and uh, see how that would um, look on the graph, on the, um, the flight, flight data graph and see how the drain would be, if it would be gradual or it would be spotty with these um, intermittent drops and uh, irregular readings out of the battery. So from the graph what I can see is um, it was fine, it was very um, um, gradual, the, um, the drain of the batteries were, were quite steady up until a point where um, I did a hover, shot hover and uh, the power leveled off and then when I started to fly it around again then the drain was uh, continued to be gradual. One thing I didn't expect was for the drone to fall out of the sky and the drone fell out at about 17% I'm sorry, uh, it was 10%, 7% because uh, it was just after the warning and as you can see I've got a impact on the battery so um, safe to say I'm no longer going to be doing this experiment with these Jiffy cells and uh, the cause of the fallout was basically the contacts came loose. I, I had it strapped on uh, pretty well, but uh, because of the vibration um, in flight, uh, this may have somehow um, come out a bit. And 100% um, my fault, I may not have pushed the plug in completely. Because if the plug is in completely, it's not, there's no play, there's no um, gaps there for it to move around. So it's very tight if it's pushed in all the way correctly. But I don't think I, I paid too much attention to it when I put the batteries on, sort of just lugged it on there and had the power go on. So that was my demise of the drone falling out of the sky. The 30 centimeters off the ground, so it wasn't too high. Um, so yeah, that's that. My advice to you if you're using the Jiffy batteries or the Parrot batteries, but more so, more important with the Jiffy batteries because they do not have a um, a power, um, a circuit protection and balance PCB on them. Um, you definitely need to invest in a balanced charger for the Jiffy batteries. For the powered batteries, um, you could do away with the original uh, powered chargers with the original powered battery because they, they're somewhat made for each other, they're designed for each other. But you can also improve the balancing for the powered batteries as well by using a balanced charger. Now you don't just buy any uh, charger that says it does balancing. The balanced chargers won't be cheap. Uh, you can get some mid-priced chargers and the really good ones are quite expensive. So that is my advice with the Jiffy batteries because they don't have self-balancing circuits on them and um, a production circuit. You could damage your power charger because of the, uh, the, the, the lack of the protection circuit. So if there's a short or there's high resistance on any of the cells, it can fry your charger, your power charger. Whereas the power batteries, um, they have a PCM, uh, the protection circuit on them apart from balancing. And that will save your charges. Uh, it'll just blink red in the case of um, high, um, over resi um, high resistance or overcurrent discharge charge. Um, so all those things. So yeah, um, I guess I'm going to conclude this for now. And uh, um, oh, sorry, the overall conclusion. Does it make a difference? Um, We've, we've discovered earlier that uh, the little circuit board in the powered batteries do make a difference in the charging to balance the cells. Uh, that is fine. And for the discharge, it uh, makes no difference. Uh, there is no discharge control on the circuit boards where the discharge is different with or without this circuit board. So the Jiffy board, the plain board, or with the Parrot uh, circuit protection board, it does not affect the discharge rate. The discharge rate will be dependent on the cells itself, the balance of the cells, the quality, um, 
of the cells uh, at the time of light. So, um, hope this helps you research and if you have any questions or any comments, please write them in the comment section. Until next time, fly safe and God bless. Thank you.